Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we'll talk about five hidden tricks on your Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. So let me know in the comment section below which of these five you knew and which ones you didn't. So the first one we'll talk about is your default assistant application. So right off the bat, on the very bottom, if you were to kind of swipe up and move over, it brings up your Bixby Assistant. And it's also activated when you press and hold on the side key button as well. But this is a way that you're able to change your default assistant application to Google. So what you want to do is go to the very top, click on your settings button. You're going to scroll down until you see apps. Now, once you open up apps, this is where you go to choose default apps. And you can see here the digital assistant application uh, was chosen as Bixby. When you tapped on that, you just want to tap on this one more time. When you open up Bixby, this is where you can now switch it over into Google. And if there's a different digital assistant application that you have downloaded to your phone, uh, this is where you'd be able to have it chosen and stuff like that. So again, uh, swipe up just a little bit, and now you're going to see that it's going to be your Google on the very bottom. So very, very easy to use. Hidden trick number two is dealing with the S Pen and creating notes. So right off the bat, when you take your phone out of the box, when you pull the S Pen out, it'll normally pop up Air Command. It's this little icon right here. It's this little screen. I went through the settings to have this one turned off because I use my S Pen probably more than the average user. Uh, I pull it out every single day. And right over here, you also have the other option for create note. So you may be somebody who does not need the Air Command to fully open that entire screen, maybe you're somebody who needs the note, then that's going to be for you if you just want to jot something down and you don't use the S Pen outside of that. But let's just say that we are using the phone. Uh, the S Pen has already been out. I don't want to go inside of this menu here and I don't want to click on create note. It's a few extra steps. All you would have to do is press and hold on the S Pen button and then double tap the screen. So check this out. Press and hold, double tap. Now I can create the note, get it all done. If you head on back, then it's going to save into your device. And there it is saved inside of all of your notes. Now it is kind of a pop-up view option. So you just have to hit on that X to get rid of it. But again, uh, quick note, press and hold, double tap. This is where you'd be able to create it. You can even open it up in the full notes application just by expanding it. And then you're inside of that note section. Hidden trick number three is dealing with the fingerprint reader. And this is a trick that you're able to use to get into your phone much quicker while still keeping it extremely safe and secure. Now, what happens is when you go through and you click on biometrics and security, you go to fingerprints. This is where you want to either create a pin or enter the pin that you have created for your lock screen. Now, once you put in your pin, you just want to hit on continue. Now from here, most people, when they create one profile for a finger, print, it's always going to be the same finger that's used the whole time. Now I always go back and forth. And so this way within one profile, I have both hands set up, which means that there are less scans for the phone to go through to unlock the phone. So watch this. There is one scan. There is now two scans, three, four. Then you want to also hold it. So there's five, six. Now maybe you are sliding it across the table. So there is seven, eight. So now I'm just going to hold it for the rest of them. Nine, 10, 11, 12. So there are 12 scans per profile, meaning there is a fingerprint that has been added. Now, when you take a look here, here's fingerprint one. Most people would now title this right thumb. Then they'll go through, add another fingerprint, call it left thumb. So this way you have a, a profile set up for the left hand and one set up for the right hand, but you have two profiles. Now the phone has to go through 24 scans just to unlock it. When all you have to do is have one profile, go back and forth between left and right. So now you actually have you know six scans per thumb that is still secure to get you into your phone. And it's gonna be much, much quicker because there is a lot less scans that it would now have to go through. So you can see there, there's the right thumb. We'll do it again, right thumb, unlock. Uh, here we go, there's left thumb. And you can, and if you remember, there was only one fingerprint profile in there. So we went with left thumb and right thumb and we went in extremely quick. Hidden feature number four is more of a feature than it is a trick, but it's just something that you're able to know and learn about your phones. This way you are in charge of the privacy of your own device. So what you're able to do is you can scroll down and what you're looking for is going to be privacy. Now inside of privacy, you can go inside of all 
permissions. And so through here, you can see all of the permissions that has been used within the last 24 hours. Um, or what you can do is you can see for the main ones, which is the camera, microphone, location. So what all have been using lately for location, it has been camera and it's just been running in the background. Here's one for microphone. So we were playing with Google from beforehand. So these are the moments that we were asking Google questions. So we gave it the permission to use its microphone to listen to us. And then also when it comes down to location, so if you have Bixby set up in, in Google, you might be asking it a question, what is the weather around me or what is the weather today? It's going to have to know your location to figure out what is happening. Uh, so basically, it's a way that you're able to take a look at everything. And also, too, you can turn off your camera access and microphone access. So if you know for a fact that you're busy, you're not going to be using a bunch of applications, you're not going to be using your camera or your microphone to be doing something, you can actually just have it turned off. So this way, if there is an application that needs to be used and if it has to use that microphone access, you have to manually turn it on at that moment in time. So it's not always on willy nilly all day. And now for the fifth and final hidden feature under Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, it's dealing with the S Pen again, and let's go inside of Samsung Notes. So what you're able to do is on the very bottom, you can see this little toolbar. So you can swipe through, you can change a bunch of things. If you press and hold, you can move it to the very top, you can move it to the bottom, you can have it wherever it's most natural for you. Now, when you go through and you start you know, jotting some stuff down, you might be playing with your pens. So you got a fountain pen, You've also got calligraphy pen, you have a regular pen, you have pencil, things like that. And maybe there's some of these pens that you, you've you grown to love with the specific color, with the specific size. So let's say that you love number 28, you love the color blue, you can hit on favorite. Now let's say that there's another one that you love to use, which is the calligraphy, calligraphy pen. It's the color red, uh, maybe the size of 30. You also love this one, hit on that little star button. Or what you can do is over here on the left-hand side, this is all of your favorited pens and you can go through, you can actually add in another one. So maybe you can do uh, this brush and maybe you want to go extremely thick. You want to go with this color blue, hit on done. So now you have three different ones. If you want to delete any of them, you just hit on the trash can, select which ones you want to get rid of. But check this out right now. This one is on the, the blue option. This is the blue pen. So on the S pen, if I was to double click, now you can see how it turned red. So now I'm inside of my calligraphy. If I was to double click again, now it's going to head over into this little brush uh, that's going to be a little bit more thicker and it's also going to be a blue color press and hold so here is that other one that we're talking about from before so this is the other blue brush this is the one that i was expecting to pop up press uh, the double press again now we're back over into red so it's a quick way to actually switch between your favorited pens and the other thing you can do is simply erase everything very fast, you know, rather than going over here and switching it over into the eraser. So all you would have to do again to switch any of your pens is to do a double press of the button. And you can see that all three of them is cycling through, even with this little icon here. Uh, if you go through and you start writing some things down, and then once you have a few things written down, if you press and hold and then you swipe it, it'll turn over into the eraser. But I do have to state that if you do have something set up, when it comes down into you know the uh, you know the press and hold of the S Pen button, if you wait too long and then you go to try to erase, uh, it may go inside of your camera. So again, press and hold, it's going to go inside of my camera because that's what I have the the button to do. Uh, so again, if you wanted to delete any of this, you want to press and hold, and then you just want to go right away into deleting. So I hope that you guys have appreciated this video and hopefully you maybe learned something in this video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.